hey guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter so today is our thrifting haul and I'm going to show you uh, various items that I picked up this past week at various locations so it's not just a thrift store or a Goodwill um, I also went to uh, the ham fest in my area there's something called a ham fest and no it's not about hams okay it's not something that you cook in the oven I told my girlfriend I'm going to the ham fest and she was like mm, yum have fun and I'm like no silly it's not a ham fest it's a ham fest all right so hams uh, hams are amateur radio operators and I happen to have a license to operate a, an amateur radio I took this test a while back maybe 10 years ago um, and I passed obviously so now I'm a ham <laughs> and it's basically just the opportunity to talk on a specific radio on a specific band um, you know um, license band and uh, and you know you can communicate with people all around the world via this radio and it's not just any specific radio you can you know it's a two meter radio you can talk to um, you know just about anybody some people uh, use it to talk around the world some people use it just to communicate locally in their area um, and every year there's an annual ham fest and at the ham fest I picked up some things there's one here in Orlando which is the second largest amateur radio festival um, but in Akron Ohio I believe uh, it's the largest ham radio festival so um, yeah let me just show you guys some of the things that I bought these are to me nothing to do with the, the ham radio they're things that I needed right so you can get a variety of things at this location um, it's at the Central Florida fairgrounds and uh, yeah let me just show you what I picked up so um, to use, okay, I'm not even going to get into that. A lot of things in the amateur radio um, world um, are self-created, okay? So there's a lot of electronics, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, you know, 12-volt things going on, a lot of solar things going on in that world to create electricity to use your radio. So speaking of just solar in general, I picked up this solar inter interaction wall lamp and it's basically just a little solar powered uh, lamp that um, it illuminates with the motion sensor and you just stick this to the outside of your home. I'll be using this on the outside of my RV and uh, when someone walks by this will, you know, it'll illuminate basically to light a, a walkway or a path or um, just for you know general security purposes I just want to know if anybody's walking past my RV um, it comes with a couple of screws and you just screw that directly in I will more than likely be using very strong double-sided adhesive on this um, because you don't want to drill into the side of your RV you know what I mean anyway I got two of these and um, I have two on there right now one of them died so I paid eight dollars for these but because I purchased some other things at this uh, vendor's stall he gave me two for twelve so basically I paid six dollars for each of these okay so that's probably my least crafty item let me just show you guys some of the other things that I picked up at the ham fest so I stopped by this vendor she was selling these body mark um, uh, I guess like pens that you can write on your body and I guess during the pandemic this was a thing people were just you know had nothing else to do it's by Bic alright and there's nine markers in here which is skin safe okay unless you have there's a little asterisk there so I'm assuming unless you have some sort of um, allergy to whatever the ingredients are in this you probably shouldn't use it like dipomethanolamine <laughs> whatever that is um, you probably shouldn't use it alright so this is a temporary tattoo marker and they were five dollars for nine markers I mean even if I am not using it on my body 
at all, which I probably won't. It's probably some really good markers in here that I can definitely use in my stash, um, in my craft room. Okay, so for $5, I don't see an original price, but you can look this up, Body Mark by Vic, okay? Um, the Another item that I picked up at the Ham Fest, I'll show you guys this last. There was a guy selling these magazines. It's called Civil War Times Illustrated. And these are from the 1970s. So this says 1979. Uh, focus. Right there. June 1979. Um, December. April 1977. November 75. August 72. July 72. So anyway, he was selling these magazines, Civil War Times Illustrated, and I was like, if nothing else, these will be some really great stories in here, but they're definitely junk journal, junk journal worthy, right? So he not only sold me this stack right here, he sold me uh, four more stacks. <laughs> So, here are the 1990s. <laughs> These are the uh, also 1970s. And this is probably the 2000s. I got all of these magazines for $20. He told me to take them all. He doesn't want to pack them up and bring them home. He was like, just take them. <laughs> so for 20 bucks, I probably have here about 40 to 50 different things that I can use in my junk journals. And I'm totally, totally, like, ultraly grateful for for this, this stash right here. And, um, yeah, we'll have lots of fun playing with some of the illustrated items that are in here. Um, you know, there's just all kinds of, just all kinds of stories and, you know, anyway, fun things, fun things to tear up and play with and collage with and, uh, and have a good time with. So there's that $20 I paid for all of these, uh, magazines right here and, um, yeah, fun times. <laughs> so that's, that's that. Um, <laughs> I also picked up there was a lady in her vet in her vendor stall selling um, just about anything that she was involved in okay so she said she did Scentsy which I found out is like um, it's like a little m candle melt that you stick into a, a wall outlet and it melts your candles for you um, she also had Tupperware that she was probably a Tupperware salesperson and um, the Tupperware uh, factory or warehouse or manufacturing plant is here in Central Florida. Um, it's probably uh, near the Disney area where there was nothing. There's nothing out there but that. And, um, <laughs> and she also had uh, stamps and what else did she have? She had some other items. So I am going to show you what I picked up from her. She had these Stamp It Up stamps. Okay. And I just went to town. I was like, give me everything you got. Just just give me what you got. <laughs> these are brand new guys. I mean, un they're they're opened but unused. Alright, so here I'll just show you. Look at that. Unused stamp. And this is what they stamp. Oh, the picture. What happened to the picture? Uh, didn't think I'd have to work for this. Oh, these are, oh, these are stickers that goes along with the stamp. Okay. But this is the picture of what those stamps make. All right. It's just a little some foliage, a little squirrel, a little bird, you know, just some things to create a full vase of flowers. All right. That was this one. Um, this one is a lot of sentiments. Again, unused. All right. Um, I'm not sure. I believe these are stickers. I want to say they're stickers that, that goes with it. But um, yeah, just 
little sentiments that you can use. They're called occasional quotes, and you can use them to create cards and um, and such. Then there's this one, which is just really uh, curly cute, it says, but it's another packet of sentiments. Thank you, season's greetings, happy birthday, congratulations, and thinking of you. Here's another one that you can use to make stamps, so just background um, prints for your junk journals. Again, unused, all right? I don't know, like, okay. <laughs> all right, I'll take them. Um, here's another one, just sentiments some word sentiments, little uh, small um, stamps that you can use in your junk journals, guys. I mean, you just never know what you'll find at these various locations. I picked this one, a little bit of magic, a couple of pixies, um, some fairies, I should say. And um, yeah, again, unused. So yeah, she may have been into stamping, but she didn't do much of it. <laughs> So, um, these are the ones that I know she did use. She told me that she cleaned these off really well. This is also Stampin' Up Stamps. This one is some foliage, some, you know, leaves and flowers and a little heart. And they're like, um, it's kind of like chalk, you know, like how you would chalk something in. So that's how these stamp. And I grabbed this big pack of stamps as well. Again, these are used. Uh, this is also from Stampin' Up. And it's called Two Step Stamping Simple Sketches. All right, I I'm looking at these, and they they make me think of the time that I picked up. Oh, the time that I picked up these guys at the thrift store. Right. So now that I'm looking at them, I think that they are stamping up. And if I look on the back here smart enough for me I can read it says stamping up right there so yeah I didn't even know that these were stamping up stamps they're dual um, there's a flower on both sides of one stamp so yeah I grabbed these at I think it was OMG thrift at one time but yeah these are the stamps that I grabbed from this lady this time um, at the ham fest which is not about hams at all uh, <laughs> Uh, there's like, you know, all sorts of holiday uh, things in here. This one says happy birthday. Again, more chalky type of stamping, right? And this one says thank you. And this one says thinking of you. Okay. So, yeah, those are my crafty items that I picked up at this particular site, this location. And, um, yeah, this was a fun day that I spent at the Ham Fest. All right. So my last item that I picked up, I went to Goodwill, not really looking for anything other than a Rolodex holder. Um, and I found this guy, which is a We Are Memory Keepers punch. And I'll show you the pattern that it makes. It took me a while to figure this out because I don't have one of these or know what to do with one of these. But... I'm just going to show you what happens when you use this punch. You get a perfectly rectangular shaped um, piece of paper that you can probably make into a tag. So I would then use my little tag cutter here or tag template and do one of these numbers. And then punch a little hole in the top or put a little t uh, tab at the top. And uh, now I have myself a little tag, right? Don't know what this is really for, but that's what I would use it for. And it has different settings on here. You can slide this bar up and down to make it smaller or larger. And you can slide this bar up and down again to make it smaller or larger to fit whatever it is that you're trying to make. I paid $5.99 for this on a whim because I wasn't really sure. I was like, oh, maybe it makes a weird triangle. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, for $5.99, we are Memory Keepers Punch, and um, this is what it makes. So yeah, it's pretty large for just doing this. So I'm going to have to peel away this tag right here to see what we are Memory Keepers are calling this, because I'm pretty sure it can do more than just that. Nope. It's a square punch board. That's all it is. 
that's all it is guys that's what we are memory keepers are calling it a square punch board like you cannot cut a square on your own so yeah lesson learned I should probably look it up in the store first but yeah I guess it makes all these different sizes right here um, of tags and squares and rectangles and whatnot so yeah it's a square punch board simple as that all right guys I'm gonna leave you here I hope you guys are having a crafty day I want you guys to check out my links down below in the description box they're right right down there and uh, yeah hit the bell for notifications after you've subscribed to the channel um, also share these videos with your friends and family it really does help my channel to grow don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the content here on this channel and I'll continue to bring you more of it and I want you guys to stay naturally curious talk to you guys in the next one bye